Many non-profit online platforms which sprouted to help eatery owners and hawkers through the circuit breaker are still going strong. One of them, a food ordering platform, is even on the verge of commercialising its operations. CNA takes a look at how some players are faring. This eatery happily replies to messages during peak hours. Their food orders via a system the owner signed up to last May. That was back when COVID-19 forced him to look for ways to keep the business going. That actually has been really, really great for us, primarily because it was free and it was very simple. Uh, and over the months, actually, they have improved the user interface. By the time the circuit breaker ended last June, the system has attracted over 300 eateries. Now, 2,000 are on board. In new normal, uh, these F&B business have to have an online presence. And then they have to have an online order form to facilitate their uh, food delivery or pickup orders. Soon, Kim will venture beyond Singapore, and he wants to transform his project into a full-fledged business. In fact, the software engineer recently left his full-time job to do just that. That's because another 2,000 vendors from countries such as Malaysia, Pakistan and Nigeria have somehow come across his project and started using it. Well, it's a really big challenge, but I believe that this is really exciting and then I wanted to follow my passion to help um, this small business. Kim's platform is one of the homegrown arrangements that sprung up during the circuit breaker period to give eateries a low-cost way of reaching customers stuck at home. Many allowed business owners to list their address and contact details for free. Even as the movement didn't get the backing of all hawkers, many of these free platforms are still around. One group, created by a hawker to help his peers, now has a following of almost 290,000 stall owners and foodies. It's even caught the attention of Facebook, who got in touch to seek feedback from him. Now hopefully we can do something like, uh, there's a list, uh, there's info where everybody can go inside and see. I've got a lot of members who are looking for more user-friendly things, uh, like to look for location. Melvin still spends his free time replying to queries and a meeting around a thousand new members each month. If they think this is helpful, it helps their business, it helps the consumer, I will still carry on. Others, though, have since decided to stop their online initiatives. But memories of the goodwill during the circuit breaker, like free website hosting and publicity, still linger. People were just trying to help into the situation and there was a lot of things going on that like you could have tapped on that was something that i remember most but everyone was really very willing to help 